Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A couple of months ago, I posted a video in regards to my Ancestry uh, DNA and I had used Ancestry.com to get my results. Now, a lot of people love that video and I got a lot of positive messages and also a lot of people asked me to do a comparison with um, DNA land and GED match and that's what I'm here to do today. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and if you find this video useful, entertaining, um, yeah, don't forget to share. <laughs> I'm going to start with DNA land because this website is easier to use. Once you follow the footsteps to sign up, you'll be able to input your raw DNA data from Ancestry DNA or 23andMe. And it takes them about one day to analyze your results. Once everything is analyzed, all you have to click on is Ancestry Report and um, view in order to see your results. The results that I got from DNA Land were actually quite different from what I got from Ancestry DNA. It still showed that I was 100% African, but it showed that I was 68% West African, 30% East African, which actually did not show up in Ancestry DNA, and 2% ambiguous. I just want to mention that the part of Cameroon that I'm from is actually very close to the Nigerian border, so that might be why the West African percentage is this high. The cool thing about this website is that it also gives you a tribal breakdown of where you're from. Now my tribe from Cameroon did not show up but I guess it's because we're very small and it only was able to pick up certain identifiers. Now it picked up Yoruba and Isha from Nigeria, Mandenka from Senegal and a whole bunch of East African tribes. <laughs> You guys can also see that it says does not include. This means that those tribes can be found in the region. However, they were not able to pick the genetic identifiers in my DNA. So now I'm going to show you guys my results from GED Match. The way you input your raw DNA data is the same way as you do from DNA Land. So you just follow the footsteps when you sign up. Also, it takes about one day for them to analyze your data. Once your results are ready, you're going to scroll down to your DNA resources and highlight and copy your kit number, which starts with A. You're going to go to analyze your data and click on add mixture, which is the fourth option. There are several projects on the website, but I found out that the one that provides the most information in regards to African ancestry is the Ethiohelix project. So that's the one I selected. You just have to enter your kit number and select a calculator model. So the calculator model that I chose is Ethiohelix K10 plus French because French will let you know if you have any um, ancestry other than African. You then press continue and it takes about 5 seconds for the results to load. So the results on this website were actually pretty similar to what I got from DNA Land. It showed 52% West African, 7% um, Biaka Pygmy, which is very uh, specific to the Cameroon Congo region, and 9% um, Nilo Saharan. I had to Google that to see where that was, but that's pretty much East Africa. 29% Eastern Bantu, which is also East Africa, and 2% Khoisan, which is in South Africa. And I guess that might have been the 2% ambiguous um, African DNA that they couldn't identify in DNA land. So I showed the results to my mom and she told me that she actually was not that surprised because she had always known from oral history that our people had migrated from East Africa to the Cameroon Congo region and obviously when they settled there they mixed with the locals so that would have been the pygmy and the West African DNA that is reflected in my results. Um, Overall, I just wanted to say that I did prefer the DNA Land website because it's more user friendly and it also gives you more information in terms of tribes because I know a lot of people of the African diaspora want to know which specific tribe they come from. So I would recommend that website. I hope you guys like this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.